Right. If you just take a look behind me, you can see melted pieces to even charred remains. And fire officials that we spoke to say they are working with nearby neighbors and looking at security cameras for answers. The home is deemed a total loss and family members that we spoke to say they are in complete shock. It's just been a very hard weekend. Marty Garza has been living in her home in San Juan for over 23 years. She says to see it gone within minutes was truly emotional. To never imagine having it in your own circle. And it, it hit down, but we're holding on to Father God and he's guiding us. It breaks her heart as she looks at the broken glass, charred remains and melted pieces of materials of what she called home. Everything is, is gone. She says the fire took away not just her home, but many years of treasured memories. I mean, I've worked very hard. I'm a widow and I've had everything in there, even their first haircut of my children. On Saturday, she, along with several family members, were inside when they heard a loud bang and smelled smoke. They were alerted by neighbors and had to quickly leave. Fire crews arrived at the scene within minutes, where they not only had to fight the flames, but also the winds, humidity, and the scorching summer heat. I believe uh, Saturday we looked it up as, I think it was 102, and I feel like... Uh, Heat index was at 112, 114. Several other departments, such as the FAR and Alamo Fire Departments, helped, but they also had to make sure the temperatures wouldn't cause their bodies to overheat. Officials say it took crews about 45 minutes to put the fire out. So we tried to rotate them with uh, other personnel, of course, which was FAR and personnel within ourselves. So we get them into rehab for a good five, seven minutes and then they continue the, the operation of extinguishing the fire. Loved ones say they are grateful for the amount of support the community has shown with donations and are thankful no one was hurt. The material stuff, and now I'm watching everything, I like, it could have been worse. We could have been burying somebody. We could have been in a hospital because of burns or something. I go, we literally were in that room where it started. And thank Father God that the four of us are, are here and we're very grateful. And fire officials say that the cause of the fire is still under investigation. However, the family is working with the American Red Cross and the Salvation Army for assistance. Now, there are ways how you can step in to help. To see more information about that, make sure you check out our website. That's at valleycentral.com. We will have a link just for you. Working for you in San Juan, I'm Jeremiah Marshall.